Okay. Hey, Lexi? Yes. Okay. So the stream should be running. All right. Yes, there is one. Good. Yes. Okay. So. I'd like to welcome Moshe Kamensky to the, to the TAPE seminar from Hebrew University in Jerusalem. We'll be talking on PV structure. And I have one announcement. We have some slots open if anyone's dying to speak. Um, I also want to announce the first slot that's open is next week. And uh, I, I'd like to say that uh, in the CUNY Logic Workshop at 2 p.m., Russell Miller will speak, be speaking on the theory of fields as complete for isomorphisms. So we can come in, go to the, go to the CUNY Workshop. Is that the way? Well, next, 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 next week. Oh, next week. That's when we have no seminar. And on the 7th, Russell Miller will be speaking in model theory at 12.30 on a Turing degree spectra of differentially closed fields. Not that I know what Turing degree spectra are. On the 21st, uh, Ali Bouyan will be our next speaker, speaking on arithmetic differential equations on GLN. So welcome, Moshe. Thank you very much. Can I, can I, can I, whoever is there. Richard, Sorry. Has, you're volunteering. No, 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 I just need, I know, I just need to uh, comment because we're getting an echo. Okay. Because we're talking and then it's going through the stream and then it's coming out of here through oh. Skype. So I don't know if this is going to work to, I, I don't know if it's going to work having, having them on Skype being able to communicate. Do you, do you understand what my, yes. what, the, what, the, what my concern is? You shouldn't ask questions. Why don't you mute? <laughs> no, well, because then they, because then they won't be able to, because then they won't be able to ask questions. Test. Oh, yeah. So maybe make it really quieter if you hear them trying to talk, then we shouldn't say. Yeah. Give them a, a, a visual signal. Yeah. If you had, yeah. and you can see yeah. what they're asking. Quite what? Is it clear that the one that all is actually Us? watching this? Then? <laughs> him. Wait, just him. Just him. Just him. Just see when there's a question. Hold on. Alexa, yes. I mean to hear. Do you have earphones for this? Because then you could just put it on. That's a good. That's yeah. Uh, I won't be able to hear him there. Oh, you will. We just do one. Oh, you will. I don't have. Uh, I, I, I just have like big things. Oh, I see. <laughs> but just one on, put it very low. And then also the problem, I won't be able to hear them. Right. right. Well, but the thing, I, 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 could, I could hear plug them. The, plug the headphones in. And then they're very quiet. I mean, oh, yeah, right. Course. You don't even have to put them on. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. You won't have the reverb. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that it's not clear that anyone is actually watching this. So <laughs> they are. Yeah, no. They are. They can also watch it through Skype. I don't. Oh. They're watching through Skype. That's what they're doing. No, they're, oh, really? they're not watching. So I'm saying they're watching on the live stream. Oh. They're watching this, right? Yes. Uh, oh, that's right. There was a web address. Hold on. Well, we're watching. Yeah, we can we're watch. watching motion. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see, I only have these. Just, okay. just, just leave them here, and then yeah. you'll be able to hear them quietly. Okay. Let's. Here. So, Alexi, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Did you just no? Alexa, the... North Carolina. Hello? With, with Michael North. Singer. Oh. They're both watching us. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mainly. Yeah. Let's make it a test session. It's testing one, two, three. Four, five, six. Alexa? That's it? I can stop? No, <laughs> it is not clear uh, Alexa can okay. hear us. Say something, Moshe. See if Alexei can hear you. Alexei? <laughs> That's great. Okay. Uh huh. Good. <laughs> great. Great. Okay. Cool. All right. Bye. Good. Okay. 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 Sorry for the delay. Uh, okay, so uh, thanks again. Um, it's laughing. Okay, so uh, maybe I'll start away. Um, so what I want to talk about is... Uh, oh, I guess I call this... Uh, 
Traversal structures. Yeah, I guess probably I don't need to say it here, but please ask questions. You have them. Um, so it's a it's a it's a problem of having a PKRVCL extension, uh, but uh, somehow from a model theoretic point of view. So let me recall what what, is, what this is. So we have some uh, equation which we call Q. Uh, which is a linear differential equation. So, you want to write it uh, in matrix form? Okay, so A is uh, some n by n matrix over a differential field K, right? And A, so K is a differential field. And one wants to uh, have Galois theory for uh, these kind of equations. So, in particular, uh, one could ask what is the what is the analog of the of the splitting field for the equation? So, Moshe, can you write a little bit bigger? Yes. For the stream. Yes. Uh, tell me how big. Um, so, the definition is. Yeah. This is just the classical definition. Uh, so. A uh, uh, RSO extension <coughs> Q uh, is a differential field extension L of K uh, such that. Uh, first of all, the the constants don't change, and second, um, L is generated over K by n linearly independent solutions. Uh, linearly independent of other constants. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is this is a, a, like a, a minimal uh, extension uh, that that contains all possible solutions. Uh, and so the classical theorem is that um, I don't know. I was giving this. This kind of lecture several times, and I'm not sure whose theorem it is, but uh, <laughs> I, I, so so uh, yeah, I, I attribute it to Polchin, but maybe not correctly. So anyway, the theorem is that the uh, uh, Carvacio extensions uh, exist and are uh, unique. Up to isomorphism over K. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, as long as uh, constants yeah, that's the point. <laughs> uh, as long as uh, CK is algebraic equal. Yeah. Yeah. And more characters. And characters. Yeah. The talk would have been quite a bit shorter otherwise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, so the question is, uh, what happens uh, if, what happens otherwise? So what happens if CK is not algebraically closed? Um, so I have a few examples. So these are some classical examples. Uh, so first of all, if you take uh, K to be, so for example, the reals, 
um, maybe CK is equal to the reals. Uh, so, so if you take K to be R of S S prime, where S of T is I cosine 2T, uh, so this is a differential field, uh, but, but then CK is still the reals, okay? Uh, but, ah, uh, sorry, I didn't write what the equation is. Uh, so I want to, so the CK is the reals, uh, and I want to consider the equation x double prime is equal to minus x. And, uh, it's not. Sorry? No, so I, I, don't want, I don't want this to be a solution. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, so I look at uh, I look at this equation and then it's just a calculation that any uh, any field <coughs> any differential field containing uh, linearly independent solutions. Uh, contains I. Okay? And so, uh, I mean, the, the reason is basically that uh, a solution is something like cosine t, and, the, and then you have a, an algebraic relation between, um, between it and, and s, which allows you to extract i. Um, okay, so, and so then it's impossible to have uh, something that satisfies both of them. Um, but uh, note uh, that uh, this is slightly cheating because uh, I mean K is clearly not a, a field of, of uh, real valued functions. So uh, I mean you expect to have to have something reasonable only if you if you have some something with values in the reals, and how do you, how do you detect that, uh, that this is not a field of real value functions? Uh, there is a solution to, uh, to the equation for x, for x squared plus y squared uh, plus 4, I think, uh, equal to 0. Uh, so this has a solution in case. Okay. Uh, and so, and then we S and S prime. I, I think I'm confused by the example. What about the field generated by this, the usual sine and the usual cosine? That doesn't yes. seem to be so, high. No, but you, you generate it over this field. Uh, so, oh, so you have cosine t, sine t, yeah. and also these things. Yeah. And, and now you, you already have enough yeah. relations to extract yeah. that. No, this one. Which, which is just about fields. Okay, so uh, 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 some field C of K is existentially closed. Um, in K, uh, if any variety Over C uh, with a solution uh, in K uh, also has a solution in C. Can I ask you a stupid question about the Carrecio extensions? Mm -hmm. um, what if I take my equation to be x prime equals zero? Uh, surely you cannot. 
generate well, epic ratio expansions no by solutions of this equation while keeping the field of constants fixed. No, but then, then yeah, just yeah, the case itself is constant. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Right. I see. So you. Okay, so, yeah. so, so you. Oh, so you take solutions from. So the the content of requiring the field of constants not to change is that as often as possible you take solutions from the field. Uh, in a sense, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah. Um. Uh, okay. So. Okay. Uh, so you see, so, so for example, uh, the reals here uh, is not uh, existentially closed in, in this field because we have a solution to this equation in K but not in the reals. Okay? And so now there is a. So, so you might hope that, that uh, in this case there is a Picard extension, and this is a, this is a theorem by. A, in a paper by Jere, uh, Gorczynski, and Ovchenikov. Um, uh, so if CK is an essential code. In K, uh, then uh, there is a Picard cell extension. And yeah, and that theorem is actually also for the for the case of several derivations. Um, okay, so the next question is. Uh, Um, next question. So we have this. We have uh, we have that, that CK, for example, is the reals, and then um, CK is existentially closed in K, which means that that K, in some sense, is a field of a uh, of real valued functions, uh, and we know that the Picard Vissier extension exists, but one could ask, uh, can we ensure that, that, that the Picard Vissier extension itself uh, is, is also a, a field of real valued functions? This is, uh, oh. this is, this is reasonable, I think. Uh, so, um, so this is one type of question which was actually asked. Uh, can uh, uh, or will uh, the Picard Vissier extension? So, sorry, I guess I should uh, say more precisely what I mean. So, uh, I was talking about field of real fun of um, real valued functions. So, so more uh, precisely, a uh, field is called. Uh, Formally real, if uh, well, zero is not a sum of squares, a non trivial sum of squares. Okay. okay, so um, so this example that I have here is not, is not formally real. But this is this is what you could call the, the formal analog of real value functions. So definitely, if you have a field of uh, an actual field of real value function, then then it will be like that. Um, okay. So now the question is: Suppose um, C K. Well, suppose K is formally real. Uh, will the Picard Vissier extension be formally real? Mm. 
you mean for, for all equations? That's what I was yes. going to ask. Uh, so this, this is one. And second, uh, what about uniqueness? So actually I said here that, um, said that becomes a certain extension, but, but we, we don't know uniqueness. So So, so this is a question that was asked by, um, well, I was asked it by, uh, by uh, Prespo and Heiko, uh, who were working on this, and uh, in fact they have an answer for it, but uh, what I want to explain is, uh, is somehow the, the model theoretic approach to these questions, uh, which, okay, which, um, Answers these kind of questions, but with formally real, uh, replaced by uh, by also by other things. And you will see that, at least I hope, uh, to explain that uh, that the method is quite general. So it, it I mean the the, um, the differential content is is, uh, is quite mild. Um, but let me uh, let me just give. Uh, more examples uh, related to these questions. Uh, so just take uh, k equal to r of t. So this is uh, this is formally real, and uh, the field of uh, constants is r, which is which is a real closed field, so it's uh, existentially closed in it. Uh, and again, take this equation. Uh, so then we know that we know by, by that theorem that there is a Picabus extension, and in fact uh, I can produce it explicitly. So I take L to be k of i sine t i cosine t. Okay. And so this is uh, it's easy to see that uh, the constants are still the reals, and of course it has a basis of solution, so, so this is a Picabus extension, but it's not, uh, okay, so this is a Picabus extension, uh, but not, real will mm. Okay? And not, sorry, not even, formally. not formally. formally. <laughs> and of course, on the other hand, I could also take so this is this, and I could also take uh, the more reasonable one, which is sine t cos t. So this is again a Picabus extension, uh, which is this time it is formally real. Uh, but what you see from this is that uh, they're not isomorphic, so there's no uniqueness. Because the formally real uh, field cannot be isomorphic to a non formal field. Um, and finally, uh, let me give another example. So, so here, uh, okay, you, you can say there's no uniqueness, but maybe any two formally real fields are, are isomorphic. Formally real, uh, probably so, extensions are isomorphic. So here's another example. If you look at uh, x prime is equal to x over 2t. Um, so solutions are, well, so then you, you can take either, and k is the same, right? k is the r of t. Um, so you can take L to be k square root of t, so square root of t is a solution. Uh, so this is L1, and L2 is k square root of minus t. And so both of them are Picard-Bessio extensions, and both of them are formally real, but they cannot be isomorphic over, over k, because, because here uh, t has a square root, and here the, and t is in k. 
Um, okay, so so now what is a what is a reasonable model theoretic framework to, to ask these questions? Uh, so the, the so formally real fields are axiomatized by a, by universal theory of fields. So it's uh, it's a bunch of axioms that say that um, essentially say that cer certain varieties don't have points. Okay. Uh, so let me make this the definition. So, uh, uh, so my definition is going. This is a bit more standard, but uh, universal theory of fields. This is a over some uh, base field, fields over C, let's say. Um, so consists of a set a zero of varieties over C, and we're thinking about the, this as uh, as saying that. Uh, these varieties don't have points in, in the field we're thinking about. And so a model of a zero is just a field. And by the way, so all my fields are going to be characteristic zero in this talk, but just for, I mean, mostly for convenience. Um, I mean, soon the fields will disappear anyway. Uh, um, so a model of S0 is a field uh, k uh, such that x of k is empty for all uh, x in S0. Okay. And k extends c. Sorry? And k extends c. Uh, yes, thanks. Um, okay, so again, the, an example is, is formally real fields, uh, where the varieties are just uh, x1 squared through uh, plus through xn squared is equal to zero, uh, implies that all the variables are equal to zero. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so now, if so, if S zero is like that, and um, existentially uh, closed uh, model of S zero. Uh, is just a model of a zero which is uh, existentially closed in any uh, model of a zero uh, containing. I'm assuming that your set S0 could be infinite. Yes. For example, for formally real uh, fields, it's infinite. Because I need the, for any number of variables, mm -hmm. any number. Of... Um, 
Okay, so now it could happen that uh, that the, the class of all such existentially closed models can be described by, by axioms uh, talking about the field. Uh, and in, in this case, so if uh, the class of essentially closed models of a zero uh, is schematizable, by some theory uh, S, uh, then we call S uh, the model companion. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, it's a. Yeah, it's a social unit. Um, so, um, yeah, so for instance, uh, if S0 is the theory of formally real fields, um, this model companion exists and, and it's the theory of a real closed field. So, the theory of, of the real. Uh, and so here, I. I'm saying axiomatizable in the sense of uh, the sense of rest of the logic. So uh, it's here. The, here, all the axioms are of the form of for all, for all x. This variety is empty, but here the axioms are going to be more complicated. Uh, but you can use uh, more quantifiers. Um, Okay, so the, the statement I want to talk about is that um, uh, yeah, so assume that uh, k is so assume that, that we have this situation k is a model of At zero, and CK is a model of uh, S, and in general, I need a uh, slightly saturated, so I can explain later what it means, uh, but also um, in in the particular examples that. that are of interest, it's, it's possible to, to remove this uh, assumption. Uh, so then uh, there is a Picard VCO expansion. So again, for any equation, uh, which is a model of S0. And any two compatible uh, such extensions are isomorphic. Um, so I need to say what compatible means. So you remember that I mean this uh, this statement is is false without any extra assumptions. Uh, this was this last example that I gave, but the point was exactly that. Um, so if if you look at if you look at t, uh, so so in in k you have you have the element t, 
And now you have to you have to think about it uh, from the point of view of uh, of this model companion, uh, which is uh, which is the real closed fields. <coughs> so a real closed field has a canonical ordering, which is definable. Uh, and uh, the, the the problem was that that the the way we think about uh, about k sitting in a, in a real closed field. Uh, is different for the for the two uh, for for the two examples, and so compatible means that that we can embed um, that 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 uh, we we can embed k in in uh, model of the of the model companion uh, in a way that 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 is that is the same from the point of view of that model companion. But another way to say it is just that uh, so compatible. Uh, means that uh, algebra more algebraically maybe uh, so L1 and, and L2 so there are embeddings of L1 and L2 uh, in some third model M of a zero um, such that the restrictions to uh, K are the same. Okay? Yeah, and I should say that uh, so in the particular case, in the particular cases, so one particular case is uh, is when S zero is the is is the theory of formally real fields, and there's another uh, another interesting case which is uh, a chaotic fields, uh, so fields that can be endowed with a with a valuation that that is similar to the to the chaotic valuation. Uh, so in these cases, uh, this this theorem was proved by uh, uh, Presto, Heidel, and uh, Van der Voort. Uh, so so that's, uh, that's a recent uh, archive uh, blueprint. Um, first, first name Presto. Yes. Um, J or Perhaps I'll say what, what is the what is the general the general approach. I think the general approach here is uh, is very similar in, in uh, all of these questions, and and um, it mimics uh, the, the approach of of the link for um, for the classical uh, Picard theory. Um, so namely, the, the idea is to. Uh, is well is to relax a bit the uh, the definition of a Picard-Bessel extension. Uh, at least this is the uh, yeah, variation of the of the Lin's idea. Uh, so so you you relax a bit the, the requirements uh, on uh, Picard-Bessel extensions, uh, and then they turn into into something that is that can be described uh, geometrically. Okay. Um, so the guitar, the collection of guitar with extensions uh, 
it has a geometric structure. And then, um, and then the question of finding a Picard-Bessier extension uh, becomes the question of finding a point in some, in some geometric uh, object. And the existence of a point is exactly given by, by this kind of conditions that, that, um, that, uh, that the field is existentially closed. Okay? Um, so, to, so let me do the first step. Um, Are you fixing K in that definition of this collection of PV extensions? No, you fix K. Yes, so I'm going to, to give the, to explain precisely what I mean. Oh, okay. So K is fixed. K is fixed. Uh, K is fixed. Is the equation fixed too? The equation is also fixed. Fixed, okay. So, uh, K and the, and the equation P. Okay. Moshe, yes. what about the differential structure in all of this? Is this? Okay. Yeah, so that's, a, that's somehow, that, that's the point. It's somehow a, a condition just on, on the field structure. Yeah, that's what and, I was wondering. Uh, how, yeah? And it, yeah, yeah, and it's even uh, independent of the... Relative is really well, but there is a differential structure lurking, for example, in K. Right, so, so here, I, I guess, yeah, I mean, uh, you'll see it explicitly, but, but the idea is, is somehow that once you... So, so you, need, you need a differential structure to give the equation. But once you are yeah. within the equation, it's so basically just, yeah. algebraic geometry. Yeah. So, uh, so up, to, up to some parameters, uh, you just have algebraic geometry. But however, when you're talking about the Galois group, you're ne never talking about the Galois group. You're not supposed to commute with the derivation. So you're not talking, you're not interested in the Galois group. The Galois group, yeah, I mean... Oh, when, so you can't forget the like differential structure. Isomorphism, I mean isomorphism of differential fields. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so, so yeah. I was wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Excuse me, it, it, you never mentioned it. Is the characteristic involved here? It's always zero. So it's important. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, it's important to, 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 to decide what, what problem you're talking about, because if your characteristic is positive, then then it's not clear that you want to be interested in, in differential equations. But, I mean, maybe you, you're interested in something like Hasse-Schmidt differential equations. Okay. And something very similar should be, yeah. should work. Uh, except that there are some complications that come from the fact that you have an infinite number of, uh, of operators instead of finite. But, uh, yeah, but, but you'll see, I mean, you'll see, as, as I said, at some point, uh, fields will disappear and then, or, or almost disappear, and then uh, you see that the, most of it is. So, so works my question is the results are okay for any characteristic, I think. So I, I haven't checked, but uh, 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 <coughs> should, should, I think it should be easy to extend. Um, so, okay, so. Uh, uh, we have this uh, this data, and now uh, my new definition of Picard Bessier extension. So, the definition. So basically, I want to forget about the the first condition that, that the um, the field of constants uh, remain the same. Uh, so a Picard Bessier extension over uh, some field uh, C uh, so for Q is a field a differential field and 
expansion uh, L of K such that so almost the same definition except I want that wait a minute. Uh, you want you want yeah. C at the oh, K. N or K at the end of the of K over C. You want over C? You do one over the constants? Uh, no, 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 no. The two fields. The line. Yeah. No, C, C is something new. Okay, C is not C. Uh, L. L? L? No. no. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That e. 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 So E is a field. Just a minute. Let, sorry. Let E be a field extending. Differential field? No, just a field. Oh, just a field. Extending CK. Uh, so E is the field that I want to be my field of constants. Oh, okay. I'm going to write now. Okay. Uh, so this, and second, uh, L is generated by uh, Q of L by N linearly. So it's generated okay. over K and E. Uh, so the composite um, by N linearly independent oh. solutions. So linearly independent, of course, over this new field. Yeah. Do you want K and E to be linearly to join over C, over C K? Yeah. So, uh, so they, they will be automatically because of uh, because this good, the differential structure for. Yes. Yeah, so this is. Uh, right. They're independent. Well, the thing is, you need K tensor E over C K. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, uh, you mean the quotient field? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The quotient yeah. field. Uh, that, that couldn't fail to be at the main or something? Then you pick up maybe more irreducible components? No, so, so you see, E is already, uh, it sits inside L, which is a differential field. And, and oh. Oh, so, uh, triple tensor K over. Oh, oh, I see. I see. It's not the tensor. Wait a minute. Oh, CL is Z. CL is Z. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but why not? It's the fine E to be CL. I don't okay. understand. Okay. Is Z fixed in advance? Okay. So you're, you're imagining that maybe L is generated over uh, E. No, E has some algebraic oh. solutions, but but in fact, if they were also in K, then they, they're also in C. Not linearly just um, I don't see that. It's okay, so then it's in L. Then the, the problem yeah. of finding a Picabusy extension in the classical sense is just Picabusy extension over over CK. Okay. So, so the, in the second condition, they should be linearly independent over what? Yeah. O over CL. So yeah. it's always the set of solutions is always a, a, a vector space over the okay, over the constant. Back to my original question so, yeah. mm -hmm. of finding a solution of x prime equals zero, which is linearly independent over the constants. So you are adding a new constant, so there can't possibly be a Yeah, be in the ground field. That's no, right. Okay. I'm not. I'm not adding new constants. But in, in, order, way, to in, in, what, in, what in order to add a solution to the equation x prime equals zero. Which is linearly independent over CL. No, but I, I mean I don't I don't necessarily yeah. have to add solutions. I, I mean if the solutions are, are already there, then, then it's okay. No, one is, one is fine. Well, so then sure. two. But, but, yeah, but two is little. How is it linearly independent? In number two. You turn by zero linearly independent solution. So all you do is. Oh, zero is not linearly independent over. No, 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 no. You just take one. Take, take one. Right, one right, is your solution. Right, right. But okay. one is linearly independent over K. Yeah. See? Yeah. Uh, well, it's yeah, in of course, it. if you multiply one by two, it's a base. Yeah, but Hello. <laughs> um, you can't give me the equation. 
that's something like one euro. Okay. Huh. Uh, if e if e isn't contained in L, this is Colchin's original approach to uh, Picard-Bessio theory. If e he takes is, key, k uh, tensored with mm -hmm. an algebraically closed field of constants and then descends mm -hmm. to get a fundamental theorem. In his with first book, k, k, k is the no. base field. No. Yes. So then he tensors it with a field, some field of constants of an extension, ah. uh, which is algebraically closed. And then he proves a fundamental theorem for ke, whatever, K, kc, and then descends to the original Picard-Vessio extension that would have the constants not necessarily algebraically closed. Wait, so, so Colchin has a theorem like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I keep asking people to descend. <laughs> Wait, but, but then how is it, uh, I mean, how is it possible with the... Ah, but an isomorphism is, is uh, the automorphisms are not what he looks at. He looks at the automorphisms yeah. of this tensored field, right. and then he looks at isomorphisms. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe I can talk Yeah, right sure, now. sure, sure. Pardon me. Yeah. Uh, you, you, he goes to the universal field, right? So, so the Galapagos he has a big is, saturated is field. the automorphism of the field tensor or composite of that yeah. with the constants. Well, I mean, the universal the, constants. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, he if, does. If you don't, if you're not interested in this particular question, you can have the value, even if. No, 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 no. But he, no, I mean, no, no, he doesn't. Right now here, e can be as big as you want. Yeah. Right. Or like anything you want. Field of constants, for example. Yeah. It's yeah. linearly just. It's independent right. from the, the setting of the Picard-Bessio extension. No, but the question is about so the descent. If, if the, the constants of k are not algebraically close, does right. it guarantee? That there's a picard vessio extension? Yeah, uh, no. For, if well, you're that, get, but that's the issue. Oh, yeah. oh that's a good point. You, right. So you're, you're saying... Yeah. Uh, well, they don't have a picard in the usual sense either. They have a picard in yeah, yeah. this sense. Yeah. So there's no He's difference. not gi uh, giving conditions. existence, of course. He no, can't. I, you're just confusing yeah. the issue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to have some condition. Um, Depending on the findings. Okay. Um, yeah. So now, now the idea is going to be that that um, to give a, so so there will be some there will be some set and some variety of definable set and so so that um, any point of that any point of that variety or that that set um, determines a, a picard extension like that. Um, some e. For so you, you look at points in e. Question: Why not just have C L? And and the, a point well, in e determines the coverage uh, extension over e. Yeah, and really so then your problem is to find the point of that uh, of that variety over the base field over C K, and this will be e is fixed here. No, e, e is going to is, e is going to vary. So e e might oh. vary, but yeah, it, yeah. the point is. The point is exactly to, to make it to be able to make it so small that, that it's actually CK. Okay. So, ah, okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wants to make it small. Yeah. Culture didn't care about the small. Okay. So now maybe I I should. So 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 that's that's our goal. Our goal is to study uh, this kind of thing. Um, so now uh, maybe I should say something about um, how to view. The differential equation model theoretically. Uh, so the the way we think about uh, differential equations in, is inside some theory called uh, DCF. Differentially both fields. And we are interested in an equation over k, so I'm going to add constants for k, so differentially called fields over k. So this is some theory, it has, uh, has some huge uh, huge differential fields as, as, as models, um, but as a, so it's, so, so, so the models are, are perhaps a bit uh, mysterious, but, but, but the theory itself is, is very nice, model theoretically from uh, mm -hmm. Various points of view, uh, but in particular, 
uh, it has plenty of elimination. Uh, maybe I'll say some more properties later. Um, but, uh, well, uh, the important point is that uh, Q, the differential equation is, is, or can be viewed as a definable set or a formula, a formula in, in this theory. Okay, so we'll just just write down the equation. It's it's a formula in the, in the CFK. Um, so now the, the point is that other than uh, I mean, in, in addition to, to this uh, equation itself, the, the DCF contains uh, a lot of things, and some some of them are, are not relevant for for what uh, we're going to do. So so I would like to I would like to restrict. Uh, to restrict my structure just to just to the structure on the equation. Uh, okay. Okay. So I want to consider. Yeah. Uh, the theory. Tilda, uh, which is the restriction yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. of GCF okay, to uh, just the two sets Q and C. So C, the, the constants is also can also be viewed as a definable set. Okay, so Q and C. Okay, so you have one definable set which is the equation, another definable set which is the constant. C so now I look at you E or you C K or what? No, so now I think about C. Maybe I should uh, put a uh, uh, put a little underline for definable sets. So now I think of it just as a formula. I think, I'm just I think of it as a formula uh, as a formula which which I can evaluate inside a, a model of, of DCF or just any. Any differential field. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So this is a restriction to this uh, with the full structure. So what do I mean by that? I look at um, so, so my my universe, the universe for this theory, consists of, of two uh, different sorts, so two di two disjoint sets. And what is this? What is the structure? Uh, first of all, the so Q. Remember the the theory uh, just make it is going to say is going to say that that this is a vector space uh, over C. Q is a vector space over C, and in fact it knows the dimension. The dimension is is n, okay. Um, so the theory says that, that uh, Q is a vector space over C, and so, and so this is one example of a structure that, 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 res that uh, restricts from DCF uh, to this two-sorted structure. And then I just take any other structure that I have. So, so uh, if I have any definable set in a, so any formula in DCF, uh, in DCF I can look at the intersection of it with, with the set of with these two sets with the set of solutions.